Hello, welcome back. Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is actually for my um, card pals as the month of December is silver. And I've made them this card. To make this card I've got a card blank of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half. I have a white piece at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And I've already embossed it with small snowflakes. Oh no. I am missing a silver piece. Let me just sort this out. Right. Move that out of the way. Bring up my guillotine and cut a piece of card at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So that means this must be three and three quarters by five and a half. I thought I'd already done that. Just goes to show I weren't as prepped as I thought I was. Right, so I've got my card blank. Then I've got my silver foil at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which will sit there. And my embossed piece at three and three quarters. by five and a half and that is just that's it yeah go on there then I've got a piece of silver four three and three eighths by five and five eighths so that makes that three and a quarter by two and a half that will sit on there and then I've also got all this to make the arrangement, which is poncettias already cut out, some holly leaves already cut out, some bits of fern, and some of these little berry things I'm calling them. So all we got to do is make the flowers up and stamp the sentiment and glue it all down, which we're going to do first. Right, this is a very thin border all the way round that's not very straight let me just straighten this up And then we'll glue this to our card. Now the sentiment itself comes from 
Jolly Holly Christmas or Holly Jolly Christmas sorry and I'm using that May the Magic of Christmas reach you this year we all need that and I'm going to stamp that in Smoky Slate now I'm going to stamp it in the top right hand corner like that all done can you see that? Yeah. Looks a bit faded on the camera, but to look at it, it's all right. So I don't want it too in your face. I mean, I could have heat embossed it, but I didn't want to. Right, and then that is going to glue flat in the middle. Just about. there. Right, now then we need to glue our flowers together. I have got two silver bits to be glued together. I'll show you why I've got this once I glue them together. A bit of foam stuck in that. And then I've got two of the larger ones to be glued. Now, these ones and the silver ones are the same size. I just wanted to bulk it out a bit. So I have cut two the same size, but one silver and one in vellum. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I've cut them out in vellum. And then I've got two small ones to be glued together. Just offset them so that they form a flower. And then spot a glue in the middle and pop that in the middle there. And which makes us a nice full flower. Right, I'm going to add a gem to that. to put some glue in the middle. I've got these silver faceted gems and I'm going to put quite a big one in the middle of that and that's going to sit up there. You can't see that can you? It's quite a nice onset here I think. Except it's gone. That's it. Like that. So we're going to glue that down. And we're going to glue that just there. And then we're going to glue all the holly and the ferns, everything else around it. So I've got a large holly leaf here, which I'm going to put in there. 
and then I've got a small one I'm going to put next to it and the same down the bottom here put this large holly leaf here and a small one next to it and that is not staying in place. Right, I'm going to put a piece of holly there. And a piece there. What a spare one. Hmm. Well that can go. there. Right, these on the this card, these berry bits are cut out in silver glitter. Well I haven't got none left, I only had a little bit, I didn't realise that. So these have cut out in white glitter. And I'm just going to pop these between the holly. down a bit, chop the hem, off, the hem off, stem off, just so it goes in and it doesn't go beyond the card. Just filling these out a bit, that's all I'm doing. And then I've got some fern cut out of vellum which I'm also going to stick in between the hollies she says Another bit here. Under there. Have one more bit of this. I think it might be just too much. up and put that under there and that is my card nearly finished right now we've got some tiny faceted gems here and I'm going to put three on what was it? no it's three so one's going to go there one's going to go there one's going to go up there Oh, 
No, I haven't done anything on the inside yet because I'll be right sending these as Christmas cards to them for them and their families. Hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.